All right. Here's the fourth video. I was talking to you about how we use the map to get the location instead of typing those uh, latitude or longitude. Now, I've done a video uh, that explained this in the core, date, core location uh, previously and how we add a marker on the screen. Uh, I'm going to use the same code and modify it in our project here. First thing I need to do, we need to go to the main view controller and then we need to add the map here. So I'm going to move these the search and the find. Okay, and uh, maybe make the view, this is smaller, just to show you. Uh, move it down here. And now we need to include the map view. All right, uh, if you type in map here, now you should be able to get map view kit all right i make that bigger so you can see my bigger you can tell this is not the greatest design <laughs> but you could do better than this i'm pretty sure okay now we need to create a delegate to this to this map view uh what's going on here oh we don't want this we want Oh, you saw me at a bigger screen here. <laughs> okay. Uh, now we need to get, let me just move this one. Right. You can't see this, but there is a menu here. Uh, automatic view controller. So what we want to do is that we want to create an outlet to the map view. Okay, so right click, and then I say outlet, uh, and then we can call this map view. Okay, and what else do we need to do? Do we need to do anything? Oh, we need to include the core location here. So you say import core location. In the past, you will have to include the frameworks too. And then in the new release, you don't have to still uh, use undeclared map view. Okay, now okay. we need to include the in the project. I thought you didn't have to do that. In the project, you have to include the framework, okay? Uh, you click on plus, and then type in map kit, framework, and to be on the safe side, add core location framework to framework. Now I should compile, why? What's going on here? Uh, what's going on here? Let's check here. Or there? Hmm. We get two errors. We cannot be applied. Type error. Okay, what's there? Okay, did we do okay, map? Oh, we need to include map kit too. Import map kit too. Okay, should be working. Out. Okay, I wonder if we didn't need the framework because I, I swear it, I don't think you need the framework in the new release. Okay, so that works. Okay, so now let's go back to the storyboard. What we want to do is that we want to add, when the user press on a particular point, we want to add a marker in that area. And then that marker will give us the longitude and latitude. And how you do this, we're going to add something called gesture, OK, in the objects here. There is something called long gesture. If you type in a long G, see long press gesture. OK, do you see that? Now I'm going to do an add it to here, all right? And make sure that it's in the map view, all right? So gesture and recognizer we have on the map view 
uh, it is related to the Mavu. The next thing we need to do is that we drag this gesture into the code. So you, at the end, uh, where are we here? Interface, automatic view controller. At the end here, we need to include that gesture that we just did. Okay, so how do we do that? You just drag it from here, drop it in here, and insert that. It's an action. Okay, we call it add pen. All right. And the type you can say the one gesture if you want, and then you can cl click OK. That's all we have to do. Now to test it, uh, I need to go to the uh, need to go to the view controller, and I already have code that does that. So I'm just gonna get those codes and paste them here and explain them to you. Window core location video. This is from the core location video, as I told you. Okay, and then I'm gonna copy this and explain what these do. Command copy, command V here, and here I don't have a label, but I do have text fields. Okay, so I have uh txt dot longitude dot text equal to lat now you have it because it's a string you can't do it directly so we're gonna do it this way okay and then we do the same thing with lat, lat longitude oh I got it mixed up here this should be lat and this is longitude, that's correct. And this is longitude. LNG. Okay, so what do we have here? I got my map view. All right. The sender will send me the map view with it. Or you can use the... Uh, sorry, yeah, you're right. This is right. Now, what, let me see what's the error here. Um, destination marker, destination marker. I didn't define that. Okay, we'll come back to this. Okay, and we'll come back to this in a minute. So what we have here, we have the, uh, I'm, I, I need to find out where did I press on that map view. So that will give me the location where I press in the map view. The next thing I do is that I take where I press in the map view and I convert it to a coordinate. So this command, self map by convert point to actual coordinate. Okay, from that location that I've got here, all right. Then I can get the latitude and longitude from that coordinate. So this is longitude and latitude. You can then display them in those text field. And you create an annotation. Uh, you do, uh, you create the coordinates for that annotation, the title, the subtitle. And then you click, you create um, a mark, basically, um, I don't need that. I don't think I'm not going to need this. Is for directions, okay? I don't need this, okay? We'll delete that. This is to create a direction, okay? Then what need to do happens is that here we have the map. We remove all the annotation just in case that we have previous annotations. So we have only one annotation left, and then we add that annotation on the map. So now if we run it, notice what we're gonna what's going to happen. Okay, if I have the map view, and then if I click here, I got my point and I got my coordinate. Okay, got it? Now you can zoom in. Okay, now if I click in a different place, because I am removing all the annotation, watch, if I do this, it's removed that. Now, 
I don't have to worry about typing these addresses. I just simply use the map to do that. Okay. Okay, and then if I type in ABC, well, we have HHH, whatever, great description. Then you click on this, inside this, and then you do save. It should be saved. Now when you do a search, no record found, I think it's do HHH. Okay, and then you do search, we found it. Now I didn't do that part. Okay, you need to do that part. Okay, basically we get the, this coordinates and then you do the reverse of this. You create a coordinate, you create an event, and when you do a found, you, you it, it's pretty simple. I mean, all you have to do is that you just take this code here, and then you create the annotation using that point. Okay, you need to create a coordinate first, okay? You take the, the opposite of this. I'll let you do it, okay? <laughs> you need to do something. Anyway, so that is it, how we create the video, how we get use the map to get the coordinates. Okay, so I'll, I'll do, we'll stop at this. And the last video is pretty straightforward. This is how we create a table view to display the data in that table view. Okay, I'm gonna stop and then I'm not gonna do the table view now. It's very, very similar to the one I posted earlier. You don't have to do much. You can use the same. The only difference here is that the, uh, Really, there is no request. There is no predicate. Okay, you just do. Uh, you create a request, and then you execute the request, and then you display the result in the table view. Okay. If you need it, I'll I'll post it. Okay, but for now, I'm tired. I've created four videos. <laughs> I'm done, and I'm traveling tonight. I have a long trip, so going back to the states will be a while. So I'll see you in the next videos.